Let's welcome in Larry Hartstein to get some of his best bets for the days there. We got Yan excuse me, A's at Yankees. I keep wanting to switch that there. Yankees are at home uh, looking to wake back up those bats. Oakland is plus 250. The Yankees are minus 300 here. The total is eight and a hook. You like a player prop in this game though, Larry? Yeah, you got to stay away from a side where it's actually rising. It's going to be probably going to close near th minus 350 when you've got the best team in baseball against the worst team in baseball. But I like Jordan Montgomery. I mean, he's got a sub three ERA, but he doesn't strike out a lot of batters. In fact, he has not struck out six batters in any game this season. That's 14 starts. His strikeout prop for today sitting at five and a half. You can go under. You got to pay juice. And the A's, as bad as they are offensively, they're about middle of the pack in strikeouts, and they strike out a little bit less against lefties. Let's make it 15 in a row for Jordan Montgomery under six strikeouts. Let's look at Red Sox at Blue Jays here. As I mentioned, the Red Sox going for their eighth win in a row. The Blue Jays have lost seven of their last ten, but they are favored at home, minus 170. The Red Sox plus 150. The total is nine. What is your best play in this game? Yeah, the Red Sox in tremendous current form, but the pitching matchup totally favors Toronto with the ace, Kevin Gossman, who has dominated Boston this year 2-0 with a, with a 0 0.64 ERA, and the Red Sox trotting out Connor Seabald, only his second major league start, not overpowering. I think he's going to be in some trouble in Toronto at home. The Blue Jays are desperate for this, but let's stay away from the Blue Jays' pen because their starters the last couple of days have not gotten through the third inning. They're completely taxed. They're overused. Let's play Toronto in the first five innings. Got to lay a half a run. Comes back at minus 140. Let's keep going down the list here. Twins and Guardians. The Twins are favored on the road, of course, minus 125. The Guardians plus 105. You like a player prop, though, involving Carlos Correa. Love a player prop with Correa. This guy got three years for $105 million, and he's finally starting to pay off for Minnesota. He's got the average over 300. he He's got the OPS up to 817. He's got a six-game hitting streak. And Amanda, he faced Tristan McKenzie last week, and he went deep twice, two for five, two homers. His total bases, over one and a half total bases, coming back at even money. We just need a double. A homer will do. A couple of singles. Let's get it today with Carlos Correa. Marlins at Cardinals. Uh, by the way, shout out to Marlins' Nick Fortes. Two reasons to celebrate yesterday. He got his walk off there, and his former team Ole Miss won the national championship. So let's keep the good uh, momentum going for the Marlins. At least they would like to there. They are the underdogs at plus 110. The Guardians, uh, no, excuse me. I'm sorry, the Cardinals, minus 130. I wrote the wrong thing in the prompter there. What's your play in this game? You've got two really good starting pitchers in Pablo Lopez and Adam Wainwright. So let's go a little contrarian and say, yes, there will be a run scored in the first inning at plus 100. And both these guys are great, but it takes them a little while to settle down. Lopez, three straight first innings. He's given up a run. Wainwright, three of the last four. He's given up a run. You look at the top of that Cardinals lineup with Goldschmidt, Arenado, and Donovan all raking. And the Cardinals score in the first inning over 35% of the time. That's sixth best in all of baseball. Baseball. I know it's a great starting pitching matchup, but I do like a run in the first. Dodgers at Rockies. We have the Dodgers with the second best record in the National League. The Rockies have the fifth worst there. The Dodgers big favorite minus 190. The Rockies plus 170. The total here is 11 and a hook. What's your best play in this game? Yeah, it's a terrible travel spot for the Dodgers having to play on Sunday night baseball and travel to altitude. But Tyler Anderson and Clayton Kershaw, they left Atlanta early, so they have been adjusting to the altitude out in Colorado. Tyler Anderson, 8-0, and he's been great against his former team, the Rockies, with a sub-2 ERA all-time. The Rockies only six runs scored in the last four games. Not going to lay 190, but on the run line, you can play the Dodgers at minus 135. Finally, White Sox and Angels. Angels, of course, waiting to find out uh, the fate of some of their players after the little brawl. You got Lucas Giolito on the mound for the White Sox, Noah Syndergaard for the Angels. Angels minus 140, White Sox plus 120, and the total eight and a hook. What do you think? You know, Amanda, a very smart guy named Kenny White, who I'm sure you know, told me that Lucas Giolito looks like he's hurt. And, and 27 earned runs in his last five starts. The fastball, the velocity is there, but the location isn't. The movement isn't. He's been getting shelled. On the other side, you got Noah Syndergaard with an ERA over five in his last four starts. Let's look at the starters and go over four and a half runs in the first five innings with two big name starters, but they're both really struggling. All right, Larry, we love a good parlay. What's your parlay of the day? 
Okay, well, let's start with the Yankees at minus 300 or whatever it's at and throw them in there against the very worst team <laughs> in all of baseball. Then go to the Texas Rangers and Martin Perez. What has he done on the road? He's at Kansas City today, just 6-0 and with a 176 ERA. They have not lost when he's been pitching on the road. They're up to second place. The Rangers playing good baseball. And Amanda, I'll give you a quick trivia question. Who's the third? Which is the third most profitable team in all of baseball behind the Yankees and the Mets? It's not often that I get my Rangers in a parlay. Oh, sorry, Larry. Oh, I was looking sorry. at something. What did you ask sorry. me? No, I'm sorry. I was I was teasing the fact that the Orioles are part of my parlay. They are the third most profitable team in all of baseball, even though they're under 500. In fact. As a run line underdog, they have cashed five straight times. Let's make it six today, and that parlay will come back at 277. Much like the Cowboys, uh, not always winning, but making a lot of money. <laughs> Larry Hartstein, thank you <laughs> so much here. Let's recap his picks going through them. Uh, since I am clearly not listening, uh, I will go with the parlay of the day because it involves my Texas Rangers. What do you think? Sure, go for it. Money line, money line. Orioles? I can't believe the Orioles. I can't believe the Orioles are the, mo the third most profitable team. Why? Wow, that's something. That's something. I'll just look at them. For more winning picks from our friends, uh, take a look at Sportsline. You can join now for only a dollar. The promo code is TROPHY. Go to sportsline.com forward slash join. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.